this past weekend, I finally got to see the new Avatar Way of Water. And I got to tell you, I was disappointed personally. Not by the whole message of the story. And this is going to be a spoiler alert. 14 years later, we are introduced to the same god dang villain. I mean, and some new characters that you're just like, what? Why does he have a son now? And where did where did this character come from? Kiki or whatever? I mean, she was cloned from the scientist. So they brought her in. And I'm guessing since they made the first one and the second and the third one is all the storyline is basically wrapped around the same thing. It's just copy and paste, you know? Some of the stuff was just like, why couldn't they just find another villain? You know, and not maybe maybe like a supernatural villain. Same, same, but different, but still same. Aside from all that copy and paste, and obviously the graphics were good, and obviously the message of the family structure was there, and last time it was mostly about the character, the main character just getting familiar with the new world, the new aliens, and this time around was more about family sticking together, family teaching each other, fighting for one another. And in the end, the kids even end up saving the parents. So they even had tribalism going on within the Pandora world and showing that as well. The other blue aliens finally accept them. They said, yeah, sure, you guys can stay here, whatever. And... <laughs> So that's definitely true in our world as well. In regards to rating the movie, I would give it an overall 7 out of 10 or a 6 out of 10. Because in my opinion, the storyline was crap. Absolute crap. Because they're going to just clone and return. However, the part about the whale and the sea and the songs that they compose is definitely true in our world as well and i'm glad that james cameron wanted to actually teach that side of the ocean and our connection with the whales and now in this movie doesn't go too far deep with the whole uh whale songs and why whales are so important which i'm guessing they're gonna go more deeply into it on the third one or the fourth one i'm not sure but i know that whales and dolphins and creatures like that in our world they basically hold the akashic world or not the akashic world but the akashic uh, of the sea so then i was doing research and i stumbled across this the fact that whale puke and whale poop is actually worth a lot of money this is definitely in relation to that vial that they took from the whale in the movie the way of water Hey, thanks for listening and watching. Make sure to subscribe and support this channel if you like my content. Because ain't nobody doing it for nobody, okay?